All right, hello friends and family, and welcome to the Die Castle. Kicks, tell everybody, hey sir. <laughs> okay, that was a little delayed. So anyway, if you clicked on this video, you might be all wondering why it says 5,500 uh, lumens. <laughs> because we are way overpowered today on the light. I have installed this 5,000 uh, 500 lumen uh, shop light. It's a uh, day light here to try to do uh, videos for you guys. So this is kind of like a little uh, test run. And today we are going to be taking a look at, I found the alternate color of the uh, turbulence tug. So I thought this would be a good video since I already did a review on this turbulence tug right here. I thought that this would be a good opportunity since I kind of already showed this piece to do a little recolor version and to show you guys my brand new lighting situation. Now the lighting may be worse, I don't know. I haven't ever made a video with 5,500 looms before. I know I got something like 3,000 looms uh, downstairs in the Die Castle dungeon, which I haven't been down there in a while, but we will be going back as soon as I can get everything cleaned up. I'm a little bit uh, short on time. So anyway, let me show you guys what I got going on here. With a little pull of the lever, I have this very awesome uh, shop light. And I believe that this thing even has uh, Bluetooth uh, speakers built in. Now, I have picked that up. I think it's called... Um, actually, let's just go uh, look real quick. I think I think it's called uh, Hyper Tough. Hyper Tough, I believe, is what this thing is called. Let me show you guys real quick. Ah, oh, here's the box. So anyway, it is a 5,500 lumen, four foot linkable LED shop light from HyperTuff. Now, I picked this thing up at uh, Wally World for uh, $15. I thought that was like a uh, really good deal. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. This is not gonna be a super long video since we've already seen the uh, turbulence tug. I just kind of wanted to uh, check out this new light. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So here we got the turbulence tug. Here we got Cakes to Snakes up here doing our little review with us. And um, let's just uh, look at it in the pack. Very cool, uh, different uh, alternate color scheme. Now we have it in a, a silver and a yellow instead of this uh, green, red, and kind of orange and silver. So very neat little quick picture of the uh, artwork for you guys I'm going to show you the little artwork on the back here's some of the other trucks that are uh, in this series I, I just did a review on the Galactic Express man that thing is uh, super awesome and I also picked up the Highway Blast which I'm going to be doing a review on uh, very soon here you can see it connects and the wings pop out Let's get this thing out of the pack and see how it looks underneath our new lighting situation. Ah, all right, let's just dump all the pieces out there. Cakes, did we scratch it? Oh, Cakes said we scratched his brand new Hot Wheels. Let's get in here and take a look at that yellow. Wow, man, looking really good in that yellow. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a uh, comparison very cool stuff look at the graphics on the front of this one very neat the front's kind of uh, wrapped in a black and a yellow and what did we have on this one? Oh, on this one we had kind of like the the teeth and this one here is in a silver it's got the little caution lines very neat very neat uh little models indeed look at the, look at the wings on that look at that wingspan this thing is absolutely huge all right let's go ahead and then uh see if we can't pop the wings on this guy right here, I don't know which, okay, I'm assuming that the uh, the graphics are probably on the front of the wings like that. So let's pop that one in. We're going to go ahead and pop the other wing in. Let's take a look at it like that now, fam. Very cool model. What's it say here on the uh, side? Uh, Seto Racing? I'm not sure what that is, but a very cool little uh, KG68 badge. 
and no printing or anything on the bottom we do have these little uh hot wheels uh carrier landing wheels like this uh real close together i'm not sure how this thing would uh uh, handle going down the uh, track right here. You can see it says uh, turbulence tug 2023 Very cool model. You guys let me know which one you like better. Do you like it better in the uh, in that yellow? Or do you like it better in this uh, silver and the orange? I absolutely uh, love them both. I think they're both uh, really cool. So this is the jet uh, What's this called poison arrow that comes with? Uh, the green with the green model here and it comes in like a see-through um, smoke tinted uh, plastic and then a red uh, die cast base. No wheels or nothing. This this model used to have uh, axle and wheels on it, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Now these little cutouts just kind of sit. Now the little cutouts just kind of sit in the groove on the top of the jet there. Very cool. Let's take a look at the other jet that we got now. This kind of matches the uh, this kind of matches the uh, larger plane. See the uh, printing? on the wings there kind of very uh similar uh styling very neat uh version of poison arrow so also here we got a smoked uh glass but i don't think it's quite as dark as this well no i don't know maybe maybe it's, it's about exact looks almost about exactly the same so you guys can see kind of the uh the difference between the two uh models right there very cool stuff and at the end of this video i'm gonna go around and uh I'm going to set them close to each other. We're going to take another uh, look at them. Very cool that the uh, propellers on this move. So you got a moving part. Just a very neat, uh, very neat little uh, jet fighter style um, jet. Little jet fighter style jet. Very cool. But it's got this uh, rear, rear uh, propeller. Kind of a weird and uh, unique design. And this also sets down on top of the uh here let me show you guys i already did the review see those little cutouts right here and then you have a little cutout right there well that's where the um uh -oh, that's where the landing gear goes to kind of hold your uh jet or mount and set your jet there on the top all right friends i'm gonna set these i'm gonna set these two up real quick let me put this guy over here now I'm going to move this guy over here. We're going to do a little uh, quick view of them uh, both before we wrap up this video. Cakes, did you pass out on us, sir? Cake? Cake? <laughs> Uh-oh, cake kicking a flea. Sir, we got to get you some flea medicine. So anyway, one last little view of these friends. Let me go ahead and take my phone out of the mount here so we can check these out. And then we're going to wrap up this video. You you guys let me know uh, what you think about... Whoa, whoa, Kex, you're going to knock the plane over, sir. You guys let me know what you think about these uh, Turbulence Tugs. Which one uh, do you like the best? Do you like the, uh, the silver with the uh, yellow here? Or do you like the old uh, silver with the orange? And then we have the uh, green. I think they both are very amazing uh castings a lot of details in both a lot of stuff to love about both these guys you let me know down in the comments which one you like the best but anyway this is brian with the die castle hope you guys like the new lighting situation seems like it's working uh pretty good definitely giving me some very good uh clean and clear uh uh footage of the uh of the of the car of the cars and the planes and the trucks and things cakes can you tell everybody buys her Ke -ke. all right all right friends thank you for watching Till next time peace love prosperity y'all have an amazing day we are out